Hi, it's Paul from wave5trade.com. Today is the 27th of February. Wanted to go through another example of one of our many um, stock signals for the trading the fifth wave, both long and short on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame. So our members in the members area here get to choose long or short trades and they can click on the image and download the spreadsheet. So let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet. So I've chosen the daily time frame for longs today. I've done a lot of 60 minute time frames just recently. I wanted to go a little bit uh, uh, further um, in time and look for a potential long fifth wave trade here. Uh, and I'm going to choose KR, which is the top of the list here for today's uh, spreadsheet. So let's have a look at the chart. So first of all, for those members that have our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader version, but we do have it for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts as well. So it's all about isolating this uh, wave count first. So with KR on the daily time frame, I've chosen um, to isolate the bar count just below the lows here. So we've got this pretty range bound period this low support level here once we start to move out that's where we need to start to see the wave count there so I've I've isolated the bar count on the 10th of October 2017 let's zoom in a little bit so also on our scanner membership we filter out certain things so we've got the 535 oscillator here and we can see down at the bottom here the red it's pulled back on the wave four within 90 to 140 percent of the highest point on the wave three of the oscillator so that's a good tick in the box the stochastics crossed over in the oversold zone and our wave fours pulled back into one of our high probability pullback zones so that's the initial filters and then we have to set uh, this particular trade up so any profit taking pullback like this on a potential long has to find support it does seem to have found support right now on that wave four it did move higher tried to break through our six four moving average and failed and then we've gapped down and then the last five uh, trading days has gone pretty flat yesterday we had a green day so potentially we're going to start to move up again but I want to go conservative on this so what I've opted for here is a 2917 entry. So that's way outside the 6.4 moving average high uh, for today and future bar positions. But it's also above this rejection here, so this, this previous attempt to get out of the 6.4 moving average. So that's the conservative entry. The stop loss is just below the wave 4 low. The wave 4 low is 26.63. So we've got a, like a 26.60 uh, stop loss there. And then the target is around about 33.21 $33 something like that this is our blue automated target zone that the the indicator suite puts that in automatically for us so we have a good risk to reward here between the stop loss and entry of 1% uh, to a potential reward of 1.6% to the top end of our target zone so uh, that's it for today uh, good looking uh, long trade it may not trigger today but as long as this wave four low isn't broken and we start to move up this trade is good so that's it for today have a great trading day and i'll speak to you all tomorrow